welcome to another episode of Street Jays with Roots. I am live on the street of Lagos and I'm here to hear one or two, three, four more or more opinions about our topic, which is the rearrest of Namdi Carlo by the government. So Namdi Carlo is a self-acclaimed leader of of the Biafran agitation. Is also the leader and founder of IPOP and Eastern Security Network. So sit back, relax, and enjoy. All right. So, um, what is your opinion about the rearrest of Namdi Kano by the government? Uh, the government did what they ought to do. Uh, I don't see anything wrong with that because. Uh, as we all know that uh, he jumped bail okay. so to arrest him, for him to face uh, the charges against him, it's better for everybody, even for him. Mm. Because at the end of the day, he may be discharged and acquitted. So it's better you face the basic and show your own part. At the end of the day, he may be a free man. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so one more question. If you, or rather, do you want Nigeria to divide? Will you, are you in support of the division of Nigeria? Uh, my personal opinion, mm -hmm. I don't want the, the country to divide. Okay, why? But rather, I uh, want the, the country to be restructured. Okay. You understand? Mm -hmm. Why? I, I believe that uh, the more, the merrier. Okay. You understand? The strength we have the population. You understand? So if you harness this and the different cultures we have is also a strength. Okay. So if you harness them together, Nigeria will be a better place. But okay. what is lacking is the system of government is not fit for this country. So they need to restructure it. Okay. We are regions or states to be independent and uh, manage their resources okay. and pay tax to the federal government okay. so that the government will go closer to the people. Mm. You understand? And that's what I believe. Uh, and that's how Nigeria could move forward. Okay. And that's my personal opinion. All right. Thank you. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you very much. Yeah, All right. So there you have it. Dr. Stanley said he wants uh, unity in the country. The more the merrier. All the government should just always work on their structuring. And that's it. So I have with me Mr. Daniel. Let's hear what he has to say about the rearrest by the government. Good afternoon, Mr. Daniel. You are welcome, my sister. Okay, so what do you have to say about the arrest of Nandi Kalu by the government? Uh, firstly, what I could say concerning Nandi Kalu arrest is it's highly deplorable for him okay. to be coming to Africa at this point in time. Because according to the news that I read since about three days ago now, mm. I was told that he was arrested in Kenya. Kenya was yes. he looking for Kenya? <laughs> that is very bad of him. Though, oh, for the Nigerian government to be arrest him is a is even a big threat to the Nigerian government. So I think they should just take his matter lightly. Okay. Uh, they shouldn't be hard in taking his matter. Okay. And I believe he will surely be released. Okay. Uh, if they could allow his own solicitor to appear in the court of law mm. and tell the, the whole world their own side of the story. Okay. I think it will be settled. Okay, so one question. Do you want Nigeria to divide? Like, do, uh, do, you, do you want, do you want, like this Biafra thing, do you want it to exist? Do you want the uh, Southerners to have their own, stay on their own, be their own country, and the Northerners be their own country? Uh, I support the division of the country. Why? Why do you support? The reason why I support it is that if you could see what is happening in Nigeria, there is that's what they call nepotism. Okay. Especially in this Buhari government. There is enough nepotism mm. that is only Fulanis that be heading most of the government parasites. I'm a Yoruba man. I'm a typical Yoruba man. Okay. And I've spent more than four decades in Nigeria. So I could I could I could tell this most story of Nigeria. A situation where the where about about 70 security head in Nigeria is uh, 50 of it are Fulanis. Mm. That is highly deplorable. So you know, if you want the agitator to mellow down. If you want the agitator to forget about the agitation, he should do the right thing. And I don't think he has time now to do anything again. Because he's he he now spending almost five years or uh, seven years in his office. So what could he do? So what we could do, if 
it could, if the agitation, mm. if the agitation could bring about the bloodshed, okay. we should mellow down now. Okay. Because many innocent people will die. Mm. The agitators themselves may not be affected as the uh, innocent citizens. citizens yeah. So what I could say now is that, like if you could see what happened in the last night at Ibado, maybe you could you will be hearing about the guy they call Sunday Boho. Okay. Sunday Boho, Sunday Adeyemo. Okay. His, uh, his residence was attacked. Mm. They said it was about five hundred soldiers that attacked the residence. So I think if they could chef the idea now, it's not, uh, the world is not what we could, we could fight in a short time okay. and win it in a short time. Mm. I can understand it. Yes. But we have already known, all the have known already that the war has started. Mm. The war of secession. I support the secession. I mean it. I also support it. Okay. If Nigeria could secede, uh, if Abi said it could be peaceful, I don't understand me. Yes. I would like it to even happen today. <laughs> but, <laughs> okay. but I think we could not happen today. I think we, could, we should mellow that because we have a, 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 a merciless president. Mm. Our president is merciless. He's, he's, he's a someone that is that, that his, his own system of government could be called cacistocracy of government. Okay. So, having said, he's someone that is using stick with carrot. I don't understand me. Mm. It's a thing that we could just say, okay, we should be fighting it. But this one, we know we will not, we not think twice. I that it's ready to, it's ready to, to, to go, to go for anybody that will, that will mess up. The news of this morning was, uh, was saying that since his, since inception of this government, about four, five, uh, seven journalists have been killed mm -hmm. and three hundred have been wounded. That is anarchy. <laughs> Look to that. That is anarchy. So for now, I will, I will advise the agitators to do it softly. Okay. It's not that the, agi uh, the agitation will be forgotten. Okay. No, okay. but they should do it gently softly, now, yeah. softly. On the low. On the head. So I know at the end of the day, we know where we are going. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very That's much. Fantastic. Thank you for your opinion. You are welcome. Thank you. Welcome. Bye. That's all. <laughs> All right, so Mr. Daniel has said a lot. He has said a whole lot. A whole lot. Okay. <laughs> this is Ruth reporting from Platform Media International. See you in a bit. Do you need that price to deliver urgently? Are there errands you need to run but time will permit you? Do you need those letters, report, cards, ETC delivered today? But it seems impossible. Mind your business and we will mind the rest of your business because helping you is our business. With same day delivery, we did on pick up and drop off, bulk mail delivery, errand services, and emergency delivery. Same day delivery, we deliver our packages in the most timely and efficient manner. Contact us today and we will be there. You need not to move an inch. Same day delivery, we deliver in 24 hours. Same day, speed delivery. Today. Okay, so um, what do you have to say about the rearrest of Nandi Kalo? Good afternoon. My name is Shinji. Well, uh, his arrest came, came, came as a surprise. Okay. The early hour of Monday. Monday. Mm. That was on the 30, on the 29th of June, June. 2021. Yeah. He came in as a surprise. So many of us was doubting that it wasn't really arrested. Mm. That it was a makeup story. Not until you know, he was arraigned in court the next day. So, to me, I, to, it, came, it came in as a, as a shock, as a shock, because we were, we were at least expecting it. Okay, okay, so I have one question for you. Do you want Nigeria to divide? This, this one is a set of questions. <laughs> well, 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 well. I guess any, there is no adult, uh, anybody with his right senses, that will be calling for this unity. Mm. We all want unity, peace. Okay. Like, uh, like, as it's been said in our national anthem. Yeah. You understand? But in this case, we do, with the situation where things is being it's going around in our country today, yeah. I'm afraid to, to say yes, I want it, <laughs> but not from my heart, but it's from my mouth. <laughs> okay, so just just make up your mind. This one. This one. <laughs> I think I will go for I will, I will, I will, I will, I will see you there, yes. Okay, so you want Nigeria to divide, you want the South and as uh, South East and South South. Technically, to, yes. To, to have their own country, 
the uh, northerners to have their own country, you want Nigeria to divide? Even if it's not division per se, maybe <laughs> the can, can go. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, thank you for for joining us. Thank you for speaking your mind. Thank you so much. All right, bye. <laughs> okay, so you're very evil. You said you want Nigeria to divide. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have with me Mrs. Helen. Let's hear what Mrs. Helen has to say about <laughs> about the rearrest of Namdi Kano. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. So what do you have to say about the rearrest of Namdi Kano? Well, actually, uh, I believe um, I don't really have much to say about it, but I believe the arrest of the Namdi Kano should be for good of the Nigeria because. It was actually causing a problem in Nigeria. There was uh, killing there and there. Mm. And there was no peace in Nigeria. I think with this, Nigeria should be able to have peace. Okay. And uh, by so doing, the um, the issue of um, Biafra, whatever, whatever, should be able to put an end to it. Okay. And so that's it. Okay. So so right now you're saying that you don't want Nigeria to divide. No, 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 no. Divide. <laughs> Nigeria cannot be divided. I'm not. Can I uh, support I'm not this? in support because. Okay. Um, splitting or separation of Nigeria would never bring peace to Nigeria. Okay. For example, if we said Nigeria should be divided, there are so many things that would go wrong. There will be no peace in the country. Mm. Nigeria will have problems. Mm. There will be insecurity. Okay. And um, just for example, my own younger sister married um, another tribe, a Yoruba person, and okay. I've seen that person as my own in-law. I'm freely moved with them. I can talk to them. I can play with them. Mm. And they are my in-law. Whenever I see any Yoruba person, I see the person as my own in-law, mm. as my own person. Mm. Yeah, but if they now said division, and you know, how can I see that person? I will see that person as a foreigner. There will yes. be no that bonding anymore mm. in the family exactly. because I will see that person as a foreigner. And moreover, apart from that, um, separation of or division of Nigeria, which I am not still in support, mm. is going to bring about um, a, a educational problem in Nigeria. Okay. For example, I school in Delta State, mm. and that's not my state. I was fully, you know, belong to the place, and they received me very well there. And if they said the fish, I won't be able to have that opportunity to go and school there. Yeah. It's a limitation mm. in everything. What state are you from? I'm from Akwaibom. Okay. And two, I am working now in a company owned by an Igbo person. Okay. If there's division, I won't be able to have that kind of opportunity. Mm. So I am not very much in support okay. that Nigeria should be divided. No, okay. no, no. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you for your time. <laughs> Bye. All right. So Mrs. Ellen is not in support oh, at all. No. Say no to, to separation. <laughs> we are one. <laughs> all right. I will be right back. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. This is Ruth reporting. Alright, so I have a Sarah to me. Good afternoon, sir. Okay, so what do you have to say about the development? Hello. Uh, it's a welcome development on the side of government. Okay. And uh, when you look at the security situation of the country, it's a little bit chaotic now. Mm. And uh, government needs to stabilize it. Okay. We have everybody, we have a sense of the belonging. Uh, in Namdi Kano arresting, I don't think that one could cause a problem for Nigeria. At least they have been facing a trial for a while. Mm. And then you should come up to come and face the trial. Okay. And then if the court finds him guilty, you face the consequence. If, if the case, that's the end of the day. Okay. So to, to me, it's not a threat. At that's least right. it's for him to come and whether if, if nobody has even accused whether he has killed somebody. It's just a matter of a, it's a speculation. Mm. Until government comes with is a Finding and they come out with only July 26. We did so. Yeah. We are waiting for the trial. Okay. So, um, would you be in support of Nigeria dividing? Uh, to me, I don't support it. You do no, or you don't? No, I don't. I don't. You I don't. don't, I, don't okay. I don't. I don't support okay. it. If there's going to be the Nigeria is going to be divided, we need to go on the round table and they talk about it. Okay. But for now, what are we dividing for? What are we? Doing? The economy is even on the on the bad shape. The bad time. And the other thing, security on the bad side. So what are we talking about? Are we even is uh, dividing? Is it going to call? Is it going to solve our problem? Or we have we, the issue we have is not the matter of dividing. Even what we go for divide, we still have the issue because the, we have a kidnapping in the southwest. We have a security problem in the southeast. We have the bandit 
uh, operating in the north. So we, we almost everywhere in the, the whole country that's having a problem, one way or the other. So to me, dividing is not the solution. We need to sit down and then maybe research on Nigeria in okay. a better way. Whereby everyone will feel a sense of belonging. Mm. That's the mind. All right. Yeah. Thank you for your opinion. Thank, Thank you very much. Okay, so <laughs> Mr. Rasumi has said that he is not or is against the division of Nigeria because there's a lot to sort, there's a lot of problems to fix in the country and not divide. So let's hear from a few more people and <laughs> me, Mr. Adamu, let's hear what he has to say. Up to know. Okay, so where do you get to talk about this uh, arrest of Namdekano? Me, I just see what you are afraid, maybe the matter, say to. Make it settle. Yeah. Me, I know they pray Nigeria make it scatter. I they pray make it them understand the everything. Okay. Make it day normal. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Ibo, Yereba, Hausa, mm. make it all up, make you understand Nigeria, make it they go one. Wow. one. So you know make Nigeria scatter? Me, what you are afraid of that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That one I know scatter, no be, be touching. Mm. When you look, America is the worst day, south day, north day. Everything day. But in the end, the same. Together. But in our understand maker. Mm, understanding. Me wonder the make you together make you understand good to good. Bad to bad. What you are the brave with us. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay, so Mr. Adamu just said this. He wants unity and peace in the country. Let everybody come together and be one. Because we are one. <laughs> Okay, so I am still on the street of Lagos. It's a sunny day, and I have me happy. Yes, good afternoon. <laughs> good afternoon. So, what do you have to say about the rearrest of um, Nnamdi The arrest, it came like a shock to everybody. Okay. But to some point, I think it's quite okay because for some time now, the country has been somehow like everybody has been scared of their life, and uh, we all know about the. Um, about the IPOP issues. So since he has been arrested, I hope everything gets back to normal so that life can be, I mean, so that people can take their life as they will be and they will be threat to life anymore. Okay. Okay, so <laughs> one last question. Okay. Do you want Nigeria to divide? I wouldn't want Nigeria to divide. Why? Irrespective of our uh, uh, of our languages, we are still one as long as we are named on Nigeria. So there's no need for us to divide. I think it's just a misunderstanding. Okay. So we just have to understand each other, then life moves on. Because by the time you divide, that uh, there will be issues. Okay. So I told my, I told me, I think we should just be one and continue living as one nation as we have been. All right, thank you. <laughs> okay, so happy ones, unity. In the country, we're all one. We're, as far as we're under the name Nigeria, we are one. Okay? Alright, so I have with me... Uh, good afternoon. How are you? What, fine, thank you. What's your name, please? My name is Bernard Aguinawe. Okay, so what what do you have to say, or what do you think about the re-arrest of Namdi Kano? Uh, the arrest of Namdi Kano, to me, I believe that if the government, if the government did not take it easy, the IRS is going to cause a conflict. It's okay. going to cause an unrest in the nation. Okay. So that is my uh, that is my own belief on that. Okay. So my opinion now, the government to try to negotiate with Nam De Kalu in a way that will bring peace okay. for our to togetherness as a nation. Mm. So that is my opinion in terms of the arrest of, uh, the respect of the arrest of uh, Okay, Namdekano. so um, if I ask you or other, let me ask you, would you like or are you in support of the division of Nigeria? Of course, yes. You are, okay. Number one, why I'm in support of the division of this country okay. was because of the marginalization. There are, uh, uh, there are some 
regions that believe that they are more superior than the other region. If the government cannot introduce a regional, a regional gov, uh, government that will control that, mm -hmm. let there be a separation. Let okay. each region be on their own. Okay. So that is my opinion on that. Okay. But if the, if the federal government can introduce a regional, regional government that will, well, each region will be governed by the people from that region, Okay, oh well and good, let's go there. Okay. But if they refuse to do that, let us split. Let okay. everybody be on their own. Okay. That is my this thing. <laughs> okay. okay, all right. Thank you. Thank you yeah, for yeah. your uh, your thoughts. Thank you for your opinion. Thank you very much. Okay. All right, there you have it. Mr. Ben said he wants to be sure. <laughs> and what's your name please? My name is Vivian. Vivian, okay, yeah. so Vivian, what do you have to say about this uh, rearrest of uh, Namdekar? And what I have to say about the arrest is that now he has been arrested. Mm. Maybe I think all this uh, uh, chaos fighting is going to be reduced since their head is being apprehended. Arrested, mm. So I think it's a good one. Okay. So you think the federal government has made a nice move? Yeah, they have. They have actually. They have. All right. They should also look into other ones okay. that are causing a, a lot of havoc mm, in, the, in country. the country. So to so arrest them as well, so that there can be peace, peace. Mm, in the exactly. country. Mm. Okay. So will you be in support of division in Nigeria? Yes. Or are you in support? I'm in support of a uh, division. Okay. If there is a, a division in Nigeria. Everybody will go on their own. That's what you want. their states. <laughs> so that there will be no uh, tussle of power okay. and um, uh, stealing, okay. siphon, uh, siphoning and mm -hmm. all that. Everybody will be able to control their states. Okay. Um, that is going to reduce all this un unemployment mm. and the rest of it. So if we go on our own, to be better than all these things we are seeing right now. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah. All right, thank you very much. You're Bye. Okay, there you have it on today's episode of the arrest of Namdi Kano. A lot has been said. Uh, most people are, are fine with the moves that the federal government has made with the arrest. Some people want the country to divide and some wants peace and unity. Let us know what you think, let us know your opinion. So comment, like, share, and follow us on all our social media platforms at the Platform Media International. And please do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Platform Media. See you soon. Bye. Welcome to Same Day Delivery. Home of errands and parcel deliveries within Lagos. Thank you for choosing Same Day Delivery. We offer emergency delivery service, pay on pickup or on delivery, convenient payment system, in short packages, value for money, and lots more. Call Same Day today on 090-6000-8220 or visit www.thesameday.com. Same Day. Speed delivery.